hello guys in this series of tutorial we are going to learn how to create number pattern so you can see here I am having one number pattern it is like increasing number so one one two one two three one two three four one two three four five so here we are going to learn how to create this kind of a star pattern so first of all we have to analyze like how many lines we are having so see here one two three four five so that means like first of all we have to create five line means like we have to print something in this five line so how we can achieve this one so first of all we have to go to the our code editor you can use any code editor now what we can do we have to just go and just use one for loop so I'm using for loop because we have to create from line 1 to line 5 so int i equal to 0 then I must wait less than 5 because our length is 5 then I plus plus okay so first things like we are sure here I'm just going to print here one like normal any character so here I'm going to print a star so what will happen once I will run I can see here here we got this five lines okay one two three four five now you can see again we have to get one 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 something so for temporary I'm going to print here one so at least we can see okay first things like we have achieved so this is like line 5 okay now we have to see how we can achieve this side also okay like like you can see first of all we are just getting this index like first index but we are not getting after that so how we can go for horizontal way so we have to again create one more for loop so I'm going to create one more for loop and in this for loop you can notice that first is also like one then two then three then four then five that means like it is increment number so we have to again start from zero okay and what about the length so length you can see for temporary I am going to again give here length like same so j is less than five okay now j plus plus so now we need to see what we can print here so I am going to again print here some random character so like a star once I will run you can see here we are using print ln ln means next line so if you run you can see it's coming so many big so why it is happening because it was happening due to this ln so I'm going to remove from here now you can see something will be different here you can see first it's printed one then this 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 but you can see here it's look like line 6 is there no it is not line 6 because we have printed earlier ln so it was happen so first of all what will happen once we will run this for loop it will print this one so just run here so you can see we are getting something here right so now we are sure like we have to go from this way now what I will do I will just come I will use here I now if I am going through I that means like here I have to give equal to also otherwise we will get error now if I will run you will see some different pattern ok now you can see here we are getting a star after that we are getting one 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 so now I am going to remove this one now I will run so once I will run you can see we have achieved this star pattern now if I will replace with this one what will happen here you can see here one one two two something like it's missing but it's just one one because currently we are printing statically one 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 so first you have to also know how it is printing so you have to just enable the debug mode and just go here so once you will run after that you can see here i is starting from 0 okay and j is currently 0 and j will go till 0 means like 
it have to be greater than or equal to so it will print only one time now you can see it's printed one now it will not satisfy this condition because here once it is completed like first zero then after that we are printing one plus plus so the value will be became like one but it will not satisfy this condition because he's expecting till zero now it will be next line so you can see now again i is one and j is starting from zero and it will go till one that means like zero and one so you can see one and two times so it's printed two times again now i value is here two that means like j is starting from zero and it will go till two so zero okay first time then one then two after that it does not satisfy this condition so it's became out from that condition so this is a way to print and this is also you can see like debug so whenever you are trying to run any program try to go with the debug pattern so if you debug it will like help you how the program is going so once we are done like suppose if you have printed everything and you can see we got this one now our aim is we have to achieve this form so how we can achieve one thing like someone having doubt so we can easily understand here it is showing one then one two one two three so I will come here I will just define one variable here int count equal to one so now I'm going to put this one into here now if you will run you can see again we are getting same output but if I will come and here if I will use plus plus so what will happen okay we have to just paste okay no problem we can paste here also so once we'll run you can see here we are getting one one two one two three one two three four one two three four five so you can see here one two three four five here you have to understand how it's printed so similarly I will just come run into debug mode so once we'll run on that time the count value is one okay so this count value is outside of this for loop okay so now you can see the first time it will print only one time so you can see one is done now i value is one that means like second loop is coming so if second loop will come that means like j is starting from zero until it will go to the one so it will print two time so once the first loop has been over and when the next loop will come again you can see here we have been inside inside that one that means like it will again start from the value one so first of all it will print one then it will print the value as a two so once it is two right after that again it does not satisfy the condition so it came out and now i value is two so two means like zero to two it will go that means three time it will go and three time is like it is will print three time and here you can see I'm using plus plus so what will happen how many value it will come it will just append one more value like increment so you can see now one the count value is two so it will print two now the count value is three okay so you can understand how we are printing so whenever you are going to write this kind of program try to analyze first of all what is our requirement so current requirement was like okay we have to take this five line so here length is five we can understand so if it if you want dynamically you can put here dynamically and after that you have to also see like it is increment or decrement so for this condition it is like increment order so first time one then two then three then four then five so once you understand this kind of scenario then you can easily integrate into your program and try to like do experiment with different different form like first of all try to do a static then dy dynamically so it will also help you how you can achieve this one so this is a way to achieve this kind of a star pattern so in next tutorial I am going to show you different kind of a star pattern and number pattern so 
please subscribe my channel and stay tuned because i am going to upload every week uh, different different videos thank you guys please subscribe